there we go. A full-time student consists of um, 12 units or more, depending on how many units the student wants to take throughout their semesters. Our semesters consist of, for the fall and the spring, there are 16-week courses. Um, in addition, they also include, include eight-week short-term courses, and those can be at the beginning of the semester or at the end of the semester, as well as um, summer sessions. And when it comes to the schedule, students have the opportunity to choose their own schedules by themselves. Perfect. So what can students earn at Southwestern College? Um, there are many types of academic goals available at Southwestern College for students, and those include earning a certificate of proficiency or achievement, and this can be earned in as little as one year, and students do not have to take general education courses because the certificates of achievement of proficiency or achievement can provide the chance for students to simply take courses focused on that specific um, field and be sent directly into the workforce so they can start working. And as stated in front of you, um, they can start working with their certificates and they can also complete their associate's degree or are preparing to transfer to a four-year university. The other option includes earning an associate's degree. These degrees can be completed in as little as two years or can be extended to three years or four years, depending on the uh, field or the major that the student is majoring in. Sometimes majors are very fast, don't require a lot of classes, and they can be done within two years. Other times, majors may take up to two, uh, three or four years. What an associate's degree consists of are the courses that are focused specifically on the major itself, in addition to the general education um, courses. And once again, students can earn their associate's degree and go into the workforce or they can earn their associate's degree, go into the workforce, work with their associate's degree, and transfer to a four-year university um, work while they're continuing their um, education. And lastly, the transfer asso associate's degrees for transfer, similar to the associate, general associate's degrees to where students are be, will be taking classes for general education, as well as um, the major specified uh, courses. However, these courses prepares them to transfer directly to a foreign university, and that can be any university, whether it's private, um, CSU, or UC uh, systems, and we'll be talking about that in the upcoming slide. Okay, so as far as transferring students, um, students are able to receive associate's degrees for transfer, which provides them a guaranteed admission into um, any of the California State University um, schools. With that being said, that does not mean we do not assist students to transfer to UC schools. Our transfer program can help students transfer to any call, any university that they like, but our um, associate's degrees for transfers can guarantee students to transfer into any of the CSU system schools um, through any of the 28 majors that are listed in front of you. And they receive, as I mentioned, guaranteed admission and priority um, through these majors. All right. Southwestern College um, has over 300 degrees and certificate programs, but their fields of study include arts, media, and design, business, cultural studies, humanities, and world languages, education, English communication and journalism, health and medical occupations, public safety, law and professional services, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, service industries, technology and information systems, as well as social and behavioral sciences. Once again, over 300 degrees and certificate programs within these fields of study. There are also career education industry sectors where students can take courses from the career education fields of study that they're interested in, which provides them specific skills which can be applied directly for a career. Um, by mixing core academics with hands-on training, students can follow a path to many jobs available for them and can advance um, in their careers or their post-secondary education. And all the career education industry sectors, once again, are listed in front of you. 
Moving on to the early admissions program. The early admissions program is offered for students who are ready to graduate from high school. So this will be for your seniors that are ready to graduate for um, June of 2022, which offers them a very easy and smooth transition into the community college route. Um, through completion of the early admissions program, students can receive priority registration for fall 2022. And by completing these steps, uh, these steps stated right next to us that we will be talking about them. They also complete the requirements for the Southwestern um, College Promise Program. So these steps include applying to the college, um, completing the placement, um, completing the online orientation, and lastly, registering and paying for their classes. Awesome. As far as the application process, this is a reminder that we have to tell many, many students that the application process consists of two steps. Um, one step is uh, creating their CCC account, which is um, an account that is basically for all of the California community colleges. This is where students end up forgetting and thinking that they've completed the application, which is not correct, because once they create their CCC um, apply account, that is when they must submit an application specifically to Southwestern um, Community College. So once again, this is a process of two steps, creating the account and submitting the application to Southwestern Community College. Um, once they submit it, they receive an email within 24 hours or 24 hours later telling them that their application has been submitted and providing them steps of what to do next. Uh, some, as far as the placement, Southwestern College is no longer doing the math and English assessments. So students will now be uh, begin their college journeys with transfer level courses. As stated in front of you, the assessment office will look into the different categories for students, um, and that consists of their high school GPA, their math and English classes they have taken in high school, as well as the grades for the math and English classes that they took while they were in high school. When it comes to the online orientation, this is completed through the students My Southwestern College account. It provides them a lot of useful information before they start their semester, and it also provides them the chance to create their abbreviated student education plan so they know what courses to be taking for the upcoming semester. Um, Outreach offers events with counselors that are available to help out these students after they apply. Going back to the early admissions program, as we are mentioning the important um, timeline and deadlines right here, as stated, students do end up receiving price registration if they complete the early admissions program. And for the fall 2022 um, semester, price registration will be during June 2022. The fall 22 application um, has already opened up at the beginning of this October, so students can start applying for fall 22. And all of the steps that I've mentioned earlier must be completed by May 2022 in order to earn priority registration. Moving on to financial aid, I will be talking about the deadlines for financial aid. However, if you have any questions specific to the financial aid um, department, I will be sending in the chat a link directly to their virtual lobby where you can simply join and ask them any questions that you may have or your students can also join and ask them questions. But for the FAFSA um, deadlines, it has already opened up on October 1st and the priority deadline for FAFSA will be on March 2nd of next year. As far as the California DREAM Act application, and this is for students that are AB 540 eligible, as well as the undocumented students, it has already opened up once again on October 1st, and the priority deadline will be on March 2nd. When it comes to the California College Promise Grant, this waives the students' tuition and fees for one full year of the FAFSA application that they have submitted. So this gives them a reminder that they must continue submitting their FAFSA application every year they plan on attending Southwestern College to continue on um, having their ways, uh, to continue on having their tuition fees uh, waived. And for scholarships, there are two application periods, October for fall and then February for spring. 
I know many of you are interested in the Southwestern Promise, uh, the Southwestern College Promise program, which is a two year free of tuition for students uh, that are first time to the college. Once again, if you're interested, I will be sending all of these links that are stated in front of you in the chat at the end of this presentation so you can have access to the financial aids virtual lobby, as well as the Southwestern College Promise program. Here we have the student support services that I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, and they consist of admissions and records, financial aid, counseling, assessment, disability student services, office of student services, EOPS, veteran services, student employment, and career or the transfer centers. And to talk more about a few of these programs, we do have the EOPS program, which is an extended opportunities programs and services program, eligible for students um, that have the California College Promise Grants A or B, and that are also educationally disadvantaged. Their services include priority enrollment, academic career and personal counseling, tutoring services, book services to where they can pay for their books, and their application waives their um, four-year uh, application. Sorry, the being an EOPS allows the student to waive their application fees for four-year universities. And I can tell you from personal experience that the priority enrollment is completely important for students, especially as I was a student, because it allowed me to register for all of the classes that I needed on time and it allowed me to create my own schedule. Next is the disability support services. Um, their eligibility includes students must be a Southwestern College student, and they must also have a disability that can be waived through, can be verified through either their IEP or their 504 plan. Their services also include priority enrollment, academic and career counseling, and they also provide accommodations to students that include test proctoring, note taking, recorders in class, sign language, and alternate media, and many, many more accommodations. Um, there are a lot of other learning communities for students, and those include FYE, Puente, Bayan, HUBU, PEAR, Emoja, ALC, B2LA, and then Title V, Puertas El Futuro. I apologize if I mispronounced that. As far as the FYE, which is our first year experience program, their steps to enroll in FYE would be to completing um, the early admission steps, uh, the early admission steps um, from that program. So once again, these steps are completely important for many different aspects at Southwestern College, whether it has to be with simply completing the steps, um, fulfilling their promise requirements or fulfilling their FYE requirements. And um, additional steps for FYE include applying for financial aid, applying for the Southwestern College Promise and completing the FYE interest form. We currently do not have the interest form, but once we have it, we will be um, sure to send it out to students and you counselors. Many different resources available at Southwestern College once again, um, and those student resources include the Dreamer Center, Personal Wellness Center, um, Southwestern College Cares Closet, and as well as the Jack for Jaguar Kitchen and Food pantry. This is a very important slide for you um, counselors because it talks about students earning a jump start in their college career. Um, uh, there are two different programs. The first one is called the high school special program, which is for grades 10 through 12. And in that program, students receive cred a college credit only. Their enrollment fees can be waived. However, their mandatory fees must be paid. They do take classes on either our Chula Vista campus or any of the health education centers or online, depending on where the class is offered. And then parking and textbooks are not included. They can submit um, a high school special request form, which again, I will be sending the link up at the end of the presentation. The other program is called the California College and Career Access Pathways Program, which is also known as CCAP. For that program, once again, it's offered for students in grades um, 10 through 12. And for that program specifically, students receive high school and college credits at the same time. Their enrollment fees are waived. They do not need to pay any mandatory fees. 
And these classes will be offered on the campus of their own high school. And once again, textbooks are provided by the high school itself. If students are interested in these and this program, in the CCAP program, they can see you as their house care counselors. And I can send the link to the agreement form um, at the end of the presentation. If you or any of the students have any questions um, for us at Southwestern College, they can simply join the outreach lobby and talk to one of our peer ambassadors. This form of talking can either be done through um, the chat, they can just simply chat with a peer ambassador with whatever question they may have, or they can request to talk. you can send them directly students can ask and say hey can i be transferred to financial aid eops admissions and records etc and students will be transferred from there and i can send you the link to it at the end of the presentation the outreach lobby students do not need to have a southwestern college id in order to chat with one of our peer ambassadors um, if they have one perfect they can log in with their southwestern college id if they do not they can realize all of the other methods of logging in um, and this is just so we don't discourage them from talking to us if they have not started applying to southwestern college yet and as we're getting close to the end of our presentation, uh, feel free to follow us on social media. We do have an Instagram, and this is where you can learn all about our upcoming events um, at Southwestern College. And you may also um, follow our Facebook page for Southwestern College Outreach. As far as contacting us, here is the website to the um, outreach lobby, the general email to the outreach um, team, and the email address to our outreach coordinator, who will hopefully be able to answer any questions that you have that I will not be able to answer today, or I may not be able to answer today. Let me reward that. And two more slides. Okay, this one last slide is that if your students are interested in contacting us or in us contacting them, please scan this QR code and forward it to them, or I will include it in the list of links that I can send it at the end of the presentation. Or if you are interested in us providing a presentation for your students, for your high school, or any form of workshop, once again, you can scan this QR code and um, fill it out, complete it, and our outreach team will be in contact with you to set up any dates. And that concludes my presentation. I truly appreciate you all listening to me, and I can send in the links in the chat now. Perfect. And then we did have one question. Um, will you still have student advisors assigned to our high schools as we did pre-COVID? Oh, you're on mute, Rita. That will be a question directed to um, our council, uh, my supervisor. I know that they were planning on assigning that. I'm just not sure how will they be doing it next semester, depending on how either COVID advances or becomes better for all of us in San Diego. Um, once again, I can take that question down and I can um, send it to my supervisor. And then Dorothy, um, let me see. Tony, do you have Dorothy's email address? Dorothy, if you could put that into the chat, that would be great. Just so I can send it um, to my supervisor, Jocelyn. Um, and then whenever she gets a chance, she will respond back to Dorothy via email. All right, well, I think you're the first uh, two-year college that has already announced that you have fall applications open. So good opportunity for those students to complete the FAFSA or the CADA, get that going, get their College Promise program started. So um, that's really exciting. So thank mm -hmm. you all. We do have a raffle and uh, I've got some goodies here. I've got them because we're going to be mailing them out from the county, but Southwestern is giving away a water bottle with a little filter in it, a little squeeze ball, football, stress ball, um, a lanyard. Of course, we've got antibacteria gel, a little pencil pouch with a pen and a pencil, and then all kinds of great resources. Now my screen in the background, along with all of their career programs. So um, definitely check out their website for a lot of that uh, great information. And all of this will be coming in this beautiful swag bag. Woohoo! All right, so let's see who our winner is. And if you hear your name, 
I need to know you're here. So if you could put your email address into the chat, that will confirm that you're the winner. And if I don't see your email address in the chat, then we're gonna have to move on to someone else. All right, so are you ready? The winner of this prize goes to, looking at my list, Jessica Gonzalez. Yay, congratulations. If you could go ahead and put your information, your email address in the chat, uh, we will be in touch with you for your mailing address. All right, if you could add your email address, Jessica, that would be great. I'm glad you're here. Perfect. All right, well, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you, Rita, for your presentation. Um, this uh, will be on our website on Monday, as well as her slide deck. And then she put a lot of great information into the chat as well. So thank you, have a wonderful weekend. Hopefully we'll see you back at our 10, uh, 15 session with Grossmont College, I believe. All right, thanks everyone. Thank you all for attending.